So it's Martin Luther King Day, Monday, and we're hanging out in the dog yard. We got the goats, the goats are out. Charlie and Maggie are engaged in a tug of war, having a good time. Maggie is very, very intense when she gets into her tug of war matches. She likes to growl and make a lot of noise. And Charlie loves to play with her. Thor is just kind of hanging out. I got Loki over here on a chain because I'm about to do some training exercises with Riley. So Riley is on a tether because we're trying to get her to reliably come. And if I turn her loose, she just runs around and she won't come and listen to me. So we're trying it out today. This is the first time, the first time I've done this, but we're putting her on a tether to see how she does and she, see if she gets the idea of coming on command. And I'm being very casual about it. So she's been out here for about an hour on the tether, just kind of hanging out, playing with the other dogs. But the idea here is that she can't really run away from me, which is what she normally does. And I want to get her used to the idea of coming to me uh, even when she feels like she's not on leash. I know the tether kind of is a half, it's like a halfway house for being on leash or off leash. So now if I call her, she's got to the point where she trusts me. So if I just reach out and call her, hey, Riley, Riley, come here. Come here, Riley. Come here, girl. Riley, come here. Come here, Riley. Riley. She knows she can't get away from me. So now her behavior's changed a little bit and she'll let me come up to her and at least pet her. And then if I call her and pat my leg, I'm trying to get her to come to me. Come on, Riley. Come on, Riley. Riley? Riley, can you come? Can you come? Can you come? Oh, what a good girl. She came over to me. What a good girl. So we're starting that uh, process of just getting her to reliably respond to the word come instead of running away from me like she has been in the past. So the tether is helping with that. And I'm not going to make it too intense of a training session. I'm just going to repeat the exercise over and over again during the day now until she uh, reliably will do it for me. Come here, Riley. 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 Hey, Riley, come here. Riley, come here. Loki's over there. He says, I'll come. I'll come. Come on, Riley. Come on, Riley. Oh, good girl. Come on. Riley. Riley, come here. Come here, Riley. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. You did it. What a good girl. What a good girl. So we're just doing all positive reinforcement now. I'm not doing any negative reinforcement at all. I'm just trying to get her to come to me on her own. And uh, she seems to be loosening up a little today now that she's learned to trust me a little bit. So all I'm doing is I'm giving her some warm fuzzies whenever she comes and then I'm walking a little further away, but still obviously within range of the tether. Hey Riley, what's going on? Come here, girl. So now I'm actually gonna get down on my knee and call to her. Come here, Riley. Come here, Riley. Come here, girl. Come on, Riley. Maggie says, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Come here, Riley. Come here, girl. I want her to come all the way over to me so I can touch her. Come on, Riley. Riley, come on. Come here, girl. Oh, that's a good girl. She's letting me pet her now. Oh, such a good girl. She's like, okay, well, this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. I'm a good girl. Yes, I'm giving her chin scratches. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, what's up? And we're doing it in a real positive, playful kind of way. So she gets used to coming to me whenever I encourage her to come. And this is how we do it. So as the uh, training proceeds, we'll get her to do this more reliably. And then we'll do some tests with her off leash and see if it sticks. But it's going to take a couple of days of this before I want to go back to the off leash stuff. Good girl. What a good girl. Okay, so that's today's lesson. <laughs>